Are you a fan of the tactical shooter genre? If so, here are two upcoming solo or co-op shooters to look out for that you can play now. Number 1 Zero Hour Zero Hour is a police swap realistic multiplayer or co-op or solo shooter. It has a total of 16 maps, all different and special. You can also play with up to four players or you can play solo if that's what you prefer. There's also a quick match option where you can find games with nine other players in a 5v5 with the bomb, team deathmatch, and hostage game mode. If you wish to play with people your skill, there's a skill-based matchmake option as well. The weapons are also a key part in why this game is so great. There are tons to choose from, all with a wide variety of attachments and new weapons being added very frequently, like the K9 dog to accompany you in your raids. For all you third-person lovers there's an option to toggle it. It's nowhere near finished, but it's just a preview. Sadly Zero Hour is only on PC, but maybe it eventually will come to consoles. The game is currently in early access, so there's many updates and features yet to come. But for a price of $15 Australian, or whatever than converts to in your country, then it's definitely a must-buy for tactical shooter lovers. Number 2 Operator Operator is a military solo or squad tactical first-person shooter. This game is made by a solo developer called Vector, and it's currently in early access. Operator has 6 maps to choose from, and you can choose the time of day infiltration method, how many enemies on the map, and you can also choose the objective on the maps like Sector Sweep, Kill, No Capture, and Find, and Extract. My personal favorite map is Clean House. It's small, tactical, compact, and it changes around each time you play. For all you guys that want something different than first person, you can also toggle a head cam mode which is incredible. Now the weapons, there's so many to choose from, and the customization is some of the best I've seen in any shooter. It's so in-depth. You can choose where, you can your sight or laser with a sliding bar, and you can put a crazy amount of attachments if you want, you can choose what ammo and pick for an incredible amount of sights. You can even go as far as changing the sight lid, and so many more minute details on your weapon. One of the coolest features in the game is the door mechanics. You can move it in and way you want, and even aim down sights while opening the real. The realism doesn't stop there though. You can wall bang through almost any object in the game allowing for tactical kills. But wait, it doesn't stop there, either. You have to chamber around every time you're empty, or picking up a gun with no bullet in the chamber, as well as gun jamming or malfunction. You have to rack the slider chamber when that happens to eject the bullet and feed another round. The Gorin Operator is also outstanding. Same with the Ragdolls. Now, this game isn't perfect. It has quite a few bugs, and not as many maps or weapons as you see in other shooters. And it's nowhere near finished. But considering it was made by a solo dev, and gets updates every couple days or every week with the dev constantly fixing bugs and adding content, it'd say that this game will be amazing in time, and still is really good now. Operator costs $30 Australian, or whatever then converts to in. Your country and the developer has a discord that I will link in the bio that has all the announcements and guides. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more.